his speech. Um, and I think that um, to talk about the, the, or to comment on the content that you brought up, um, you know, I thought it was really um, oh, impactful that you mentioned, you know, China as a an, an specific example, and you, um, you know, gave the example of, of, you know, China basically being a dictatorship, and you know, remembering um, that I think President Xi Jinping, you know, is now president for life, and that's a really huge contrast, and that's almost going reverse rather than going forward. Uh, in terms of you know allowing allowing change to to happen and embracing change, so um, those are very impactful. You talked about you know the values um, and you know that um, you know as an immigrant or a refugee that you um, immigrated here um, for not just you know a single topic but for multiple things, including a better life and also for values. Um, I think that um, one thing that um, when you're making your speech. I would try to um, be more mindful of using linking words like to, you know, or for, or, or am. And again, it could be cultural, but, you know, I'm not uh, saying that from a cultural point of view. I'm just saying that from a speech point of view, that it helps to use linking words. But regardless of, the, of you not using perfect linking words, you were very passionate in your speech, and that came through very, very, very So thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your speech, Amal. So I promise next time I will have gone over my um, Toastmasters material to get more of an idea of what I should be reviewing on when I evaluate speeches, but I'm going to go over content, delivery, your beginning and ending, your voice, and grammar and my, my personal thoughts on your speech. So. I thought the content was great. It was informative, and um, we've all heard that you shouldn't sit so much and you should stand more, but you added some new information that I think a lot of us may have not heard before, such as how the total hours that we might actually be sitting when you added all together, including the time that we're sleeping. So I thought it was good content. content. Um, your delivery was good. You had. Um, good eye contact with various members of the room and um, hand movement. Um, you might think about um, varying your hand movement a little bit. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you kind of touch your neck. But I mean, that's fine. Everybody has their 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 movements that they typically do, so that's fine. Um, I think you had a good beginning and a good ending, and you ended it with a little humor, inviting us to stand up during our Toastmaster meeting as one suggestion to get in more minutes standing, so that was interesting. Um, your voice was um, good. It was, um, it's a little, it was a little soft, but I think that's just your natural voice, and I could hear you fine, and I think everybody in the room could hear you fine, so I think your voice was, was fine, and it was nice. Um, your grammar was great. There wasn't very many uhs or pauses or anything like that. I noticed maybe one or two, so that was great. Um, the only suggestion I would have is to maybe add a little bit more, and you did this a little bit, but maybe a little bit more um, of your personal thoughts on the topic to give it a little bit more emotional impact for your listeners. Um, but overall, I thought it was a very nice speech and very informative and 